Now that you've had a look at some of those scores from Thursday night's games, how about some highlights to go along with them? Here we go. Well, let's get with it in Nest City where the Eagles host the Kinsley Coyotes. Now I'd love to be cheering for an alma mater victory, but my Coyotes just couldn't get it done. But hey, they've probably more, won more games this year than I did in four. Eagles start the show. Riley Klitschke tossed to Dalton Gans, who gets a six-yard gain. Tackled by number 12, Austin. My man ditches. Klitschke wants to run. Sacked by Chase Young with the shoestring tackle. Coyotes offense. Skyler Turner looking to pass. No one downfield. Gets rid of it before Blake McVicker brings him down. Klitschke fumble. Ruski picked up by the C-O-Y-O-T-E-S. Number 33, Josh Neighbor on the recovery. Nathan Frame, sophomore quarterback, back to pass, looking for Chase Young. Whoops, it falls into the hands of Dalton Gantz, who gets the pick six for the Eagles. Push-ups for touchdowns. The Eagles cheerleaders getting in shape. Frame gives to Young. He gets about six, brought down by Klitschke. Frame to pass, finds Weston Schutte. He picks up a first down on fourth and five. Klitschke and Clark on the tackle. Levi Hirsch says, I'll pat you on the head for that conversion. Nest City will play Pretty Perry on Tuesday. Good game, Cowts. Hugerton versus Ulysses. Tigers keep warming up. Cody Frederick on the keeper, seven yard gain. Tackled by number 14, Chase Miles. Frederick, toss to Miguel Jr. Kicks it outside, good blocking up front, and he's knocked out of bounds at the two by number 54, Keanu Sosa. And the nice friendly pat on the back for the competitors. First down, give up the middle to Christian Camacho, and he gets the score. Eagles continue on offense. Frederick keeps it and gets it to the 20, tripped up by Tate Anis. Mancho gets the carry and 10 yards tackled by Jared Niebert. Eagles at the five and Camancho with another good run and touchdown, kaboom. And the ref says, hi, the Smoky Hills Public Television. Diego Figuero kicks it off. Ronnie DeGalato will return and he's gonna get a good gain here up to about the 25 tackled by Russell Guerrero. Now it's Tiger time. Razzie Morales gets the carry and cuts it out to the far sideline, gets some blocks upfield, and he's in. But it's called back. So game over, Ulysses wins and takes on Pratt at six on Tuesday. Huckenden still goes on and will play Bueller. Some happy crowd watchers, game over. Next, we go to Russell versus Colby. Kel Armberger under center. Andrew Flanagan jumps over the pile for 10-yard gain. Ryan Parker takes a handoff for the Eagles. 18-yard gain, tackled by a horde of Broncos. Give to Parker again. Eight yards here, tackled by Jesse Boomhauer. Quarterback keeper, Armberger gets five. Sweep right, Corbin Stevens. He's going to pick up 10, tackled again by Boomhauer. Parker coming up. Pops this one in for the score. And here's the pat down. PAT, Arnberger converts. Broncos ball. Ryan Zachman wants to run and get some good yards down the far sideline. Arnberger finally gets him out of bounds. Dylan Walker on the carry. Short gain here. And give it to Walker again. Looks about the same. Danny Osti on the give. Nash Kars, he gets away and he's going to put up six. Right here, good run by Karst. And the leaping back-to-back -back celebration. Whoop, to finish it off. Walker for two, and he stops short. Back to the Eagles. Vanagon 
making way through the Bronco D and knocked out of bounds at the 40 by Karst. Colby sneaks away with the win, 48 to 40. Scott City and Cimarron, number 40, handoff for Cimarron, gets a nice run up the middle, tackled by number 70, Manuel Carrillo. Blue Jays pass to number 44 for a short gain. Brady Barat with the carry for the Blue Jays. Nice run for what will unfortunately be their only score for the night. Point after was no good. Brett O'Neill under center for the Beavers, ready to get things rolling, and he rolls right, pass tipped, and incomplete. Blue Jays back with the ball, toss right, and a nice 10-yard run by number 13. One, three, again on the carry, not as many yards this time. Toss left with a blocker in front and slipping tackles. Cimarron gets it down to the four yard line. Will they convert? No, fumble on the next play. Carrillo recovers for Scott City. Sweep left. Alex Coe gets some good yards. Up the middle and Dalton Bueller comes up with the mess to get a good gain. All sorts of ball carriers for the Beavers. Drew Kite gets this one for 12 yards. And up the middle, Brenner Wells driving over the pile and getting the good. Scott City taking on Goodland Tuesday. Next we go to Quivera Heights. They take on Lynn Bulldogs. Gunner Felon, quarterback keeper. He turns it upfield and goes out of bounds. Finally, about at the 35. Nick Shepman looking for room to run. Looks like he has none, but he finds some. Changing direction, taking over to the far sideline and in the end zone. Score for the T-Birds. Bulldogs on offense. Jacob Bott fakes a give, keeps it. Running right, running out of bounds. Knocked out by Felon at the 30. Bott options left to Nathan Edgar. Felon can't get the angle on him, and he's in for a Bulldog score. T-Birds on offense. Coming right up. Give to Taylor Simonson. Stiffs arms a tackle. Into the secondary tackle by Jake Trumbull and Trent Schaefer. Felon shotgun, quick pass to Jordan for Trevino. Gets a block from Joe Barton, makes a good move and nearly gets away, but Bott is there for the save along with Schaefer on the tackle. Up the middle to Simonson, across and that's in. Thunderbirds score six. Bulldogs get back, right back on track. Toss to Edgar, who's been running distances all night and gets dropped after a good gain at the 15. Give to Edgar again, and he's in for another score. Mark another one under his belt. T-Birds regroup, fell and scrambling. Pass, and he's got a man, and it's Trevino smelling the score. Ball is knocked out, but Simonson makes a good recovery downfield to keep the drive alive, and that's good for a Quivira Heights touchdown. No, we can't believe that. Quivira Heights takes on Baileyville this Tuesday. Lakeside versus Wakefield, and the Lakeside cheerleaders say trick or treat, and thank you for the nice welcome. Cole McGee under center for the Bombers, and his pass is picked off by Co Weiss for the Knights. Alex Rankin takes a snack for, snap for Lakeside, gives to Miles Thomas, who gets drugged down by Brandon Draper. Connor Storr takes the ball down the far sideline. Good gain before he's tackled by Daniel Griffith. No tricks this time, just cheers. Rankin back to pass. Thomas on the reception, makes one guy miss, and will redirect himself to the middle of the field and he's going to find the end zone on this one, ladies and gentlemen. That's six. Two points coming up. Throw it up to the big guy, and Connor Shoemaker converts. McGee looking to, for something to do, and he's going to get swarmed by the Knights' D. 
Nowhere to go for the Knights on this play, but in the hands of the big bombers. Alex Sands on the carry, cuts it outside and is pushed out of bounds right here by Josh Cox. And to the outside goes Connor Storr. Gets the first and more. Brought down at the two by Cox. Rankin looking for room to run. And he's hit hard at the one by 21. Jesse Weir. Lakeside still sniffing out the end zone. No go as the Bombers hold him again. And tricks do the Knight have with Rankin's snake. Lakeside is going to take on Lebo this Tuesday. Victoria Knights love the scoreboard show, and we love you right back. Punt right off the bat by the Knights. Number 42, Blaine Raby will return for Thunder Ridge. And he gets it up to the 40 for the Longhorns. And the return man plays quarterback and gives it to Corey Reyes. Not much there. Corey Dinkle on the tackle. Raby gives Reyes no gain on the play. The Knights huddle up. Coach Herberly says, do a good job. And they do. Cameron Dinkle comes in for the tackle. Longhorns with the response. Pass to Trevor Lowe. Boom, touchdown, Thunder Ridge. P-A-T, Rahez, it's good. Knights football, Dalton Dryling gets the carry for a short gain. And Sheck way under center, options it off to Dryling, who steps out of bounds at about the 38. Give to Dinkle. Six yards on this carry. Knights, Dryling fights for the first down. Tackled by number 28, Joel Struckoff. Dinkle again. Small yardage pickup here. And Dinkle, Dinkle, Dinkle again. Fumbles, nowhere to go. And Joel Struckoff, Mr. Patient. Gets a good run, tackled by Clayton Roth. Raby's gonna keep this one, and he's gone. 40 yard touchdown run here, but both are gonna move on to the playoffs. Thunder Ridge versus Sharon Springs and Victoria will take on Bird City this Tuesday. Osborne versus Quinter. Crowd getting pumped up for the Battle of the Bulldogs. Ethan Sloth, our under center for Osborne. Pass down the near sideline, and it's broken up by Joe Simon. Intended for Jake DeMars. Option right, Slothauer pitches to Justin Pruder, who nearly loses the football. Gets a good gain out of a near foul to play, tackled by Toby Haubacher. Slothauer rifles it left to Dylan Spears, who gets a 20-yard gain, tackled by Joe Simon. Toss left, small gain for Osborne. Slothauer. Scrambles right and throws to Dylan Spears who slips a tackle and gets brought down by Colton Corwin. And Sloth Hour from the five is gonna take it in for the score. It's the other Bulldogs turn. Simon in shotgun. Quarterback draw and he slips through Osborne's D and gets to the three yard line on a great run. Hand off to Logan Reed, who tries to take it to the house, but must go through a wall of Bulldogs, and he gets stood up on the bottom of the dog pile. Reed's gonna try again, and this time he punches through for the score. Slothauer up the middle for about five, tackled by Joe Simon. Slothauer wants to pass this time, and he finds DeMars for a short gain on first down. Pitch to Damon Schur, and he's clear for takeoff at the 2010 touchdown Bulldogs. Osborne takes on Peabody this Tuesday. How about those Thursday night highlights, huh? But hey, don't go away because we still have Friday night's action to get to. And that's coming right up after the short break, so don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs> 